Trevor Denman. Field for the San Pasquale sent on the way. Silver Charm coming away smoothly. It's Crafty Friend intent on getting the lead, though, and Crafty Friend goes off to lead them. Dramatic goal down at the rails. Silver Charm is right there in the third spot. Then comes Malik and Young at heart. Going no more than a half pace out here. Extremely slow. Crafty Friend is the leader. Dramatic gold now comes through at the rail. Those two lead it by a length and three quarters. Now it's two as they start to quicken a little on the lead. And they go clear now by four as they quicken the pace noticeably at the three-quarter pole. Silver Charm is quite content to let those other two go on with it. And Malik is right there on Silver Charm's heels in fourth. And then three back to Young at heart. Five-eighths of a mile to go now, and Dramatic Gold tugs his way to the lead as he goes a good pace now. He's opened up to lead by three parts of a length. Crafty Friend keeping him company on the outside. There's a gap of seven lengths back to Silver Charm in the third spot. Young at heart coming through at the rail, and Malik is last, but only a length and a half for Silver Charm. Less than a half mile to go in the San Pascal, and Dramatic Gold still the leader. Crafty Friend up alongside. They pass the three-eighths together. They clear by seven lengths now. Silver Charm is asked to come after them. Malik starts to pick it up and Young at Heart is last. Coming to the quarter pole. Crafty Friend. Dramatic Gold clear by five. Now Silver Charm is starting his run. The Grey in third. Malik is back fourth. Top of the lane. Crafty Friend. Dramatic Gold. But Silver Charm let loose on the outside. And here comes Silver Charm. Malik is going to come and make a race of it. But Silver Charm hits the front. And just look at the sky go. Silver Charm Charm, Gary Stevens looks over his shoulder, full of confidence. Silver Charm strolls on. Silver Charm from Malik, crafty friend, dramatic gold, and young at heart, finish last. An impressive five-year-old debut for the champion Silver Charm. And the $120,000 first place check has moved him past the great John Henry in the all-time money earnings list. Now, career total of more than $6.6 .6 million. Silver Charm is owned by Bob and Beverly Lewis, trained by Bob Affert, ridden here as usual by Gary Stevens. After the race, we got comments from the winning connection in the wind circle. Uh, I was worried down the backside just as everybody in the, in the crowd was, and um, I guess if it was an experiment or whatever, it was a positive experiment. I think that we, we saw a new, uh, a new line on Silver Charm, something else that we can fall back on if we need to, if the strategy to lay close... Uh, isn't going to work out. He can obviously do what he did today and come from well off the pace. Because I only really had to ride him about uh, a quarter of a mile today. Started to ease him up a bit. Took a peek over my shoulder. Malik was uh, closing the gap on me a bit. And uh, I went and uh, encouraged him a little bit from that point on. As a matter of fact, the first thing I said to Gary Stevens is, congratulations, you gave me the biggest heart palpitations I've ever <laughs> felt. Good Lord, I, that distance going down the backstretch really, uh, uh, really uh, turned me up a bit. But uh, wasn't that a magnificent stretch run? Didn't sure he do his job? He just sat relaxed, and Gary, he just, that's, he, he knows his horse. He's got a lot of confidence, uh, more so than I would if I would have been on his back. But uh, when I'm down the backside, first I started thinking maybe he's not, they're getting away from him. Uh, I started getting flashbacks of Del Mar. Maybe, you know, he's not into the race. You know, how could I be that wrong? But at the quarter pole, when I saw him picking him up, I thought, well, let's see. If he's a great horse, he'll, he'll run by him. No doubt Silver Charm is a great horse. Let's remember another great horse. We'll go back to the San Pasquale of 1996. Another gray was in the headlines then. His name was... Alphabet Soup, a start to a great season for him. Alphabet Soup at the rail and Lucia Fever, Earth Colony coming through third. Best Pal just didn't have his mind in it today and Best Pal not going to fire today. They come for home. Alphabet Soup at the rail and Lucia Fever is then running on third. But it's Alphabet Soup the great. Pins his ears back, sticks his neck out and goes for the wire and Alphabet Soup is going to outrun Lucia Fever. Alphabet Soup and Chris Antley win the San Pascal. Alphabet Soup wins the San Pasquale of 1996. The same year he won the Breeders' Cup Classic, beating Cigar in that great three-way photo in Woodbine in Toronto, Canada, as you remember. Alpha